your dream come true? Everybody should really think about doing van life once in their lives. Are we back in Singapore already? It's Kate and Z and, and other adventures. adventures and we're on an 81 day van life road trip through the USA Texas is f***ing <laughs> hot Ugh. Ow, it's painful. But that's not stopping us from getting to Ninfa's one of the most highly rated restaurants that specializes in Tex-Mex cuisine We asked the server for the best recommendation and it was fajitas Obviously, we didn't make a pass for the nachos too Zenas and I actually love constructing our own food. You get to pick what you want and how much you want. That's a lot of meat. Just look at the way Zenas puts his taco together, shamelessly spamming all that sour cream. And who can forget the guacamole? Dude, that's a pizza. Oh, it's just right. Look at that. <laughs> it's my turn to devour. That's amazing! Corn tortillas are so good. That's my favorite kind of tortillas. Now that our bellies are filled, we're on a mission to get to Boca Chica. So we're currently in a place called Brownsville, Texas. And uh, Z, why are we here? Can you please explain? So we are going over to Starbase, which is SpaceX facility where they are building the Starship rocket. Located at Boca Chica, about 32 kilometers east of Brownsville. Starbase is home to Starship, the space vehicle, and the giant booster called Super Heavy. This is part of SpaceX's mission to take people and cargo to the Moon, Mars, and other deep space destinations. I just really want to see this, and that's why we're in Brownsville. Nobody will be driving down to Brownsville or to Boca Chica unless they're huge fans of SpaceX. Well, we've stopped at Boca Chica somewhere. The only food we see here are Chester's. This is what it has on its menu. Wedges, corn, coleslaw, green beans, mac and cheese, potatoes and gravy, fried okra, old-fashioned biscuit, biscuits and gravy, corn dog, beef and bean, burrito, jalapeno, and egg roll, which is spring rolls. And obviously it has chicken. Well, I know what I'm getting. Fried chicken and fried okra. All right, so that's my biscuit, my two-piece chicken, and fried okra. The nice guy just came in and gave us a fresh Honey biscuit. Oh, it is fresh. I have never had a biscuit this fresh. Yeah, it's a nice biscuit. Mm. Oh my god, it is soft and fluffy, and it reminds me of now we're doing that fast food episode all over again. Yes, this one, where Zenas and I ate only fast food for 72 hours. It was brutal. Oh, yeah. How do you work? Right. That's good, you got chicken cutlets, yeah, man. Yeah, I shouldn't have got the... But KFC has 11 secret herbs and spices, which is much better than this. But it's not even too salty. I'm not mad. But do you know what actually made me mad? When we emptied our black water tank, we had to open the doors, and then the winds here are so strong that they blew the dust and dirt in this area into our vehicle. Now we're having to clean our face because obviously it's disgusting. Gross. Look at this. Yuck. So why are you such a big fan of Elon Musk? If we're talking about Elon Musk's rocket, maybe that's uh, not for this video. Why? <laughs> Ew! Okay, we just go to. Um, this was some inspection area. I'm not quite sure what it was for. It's like nobody comes here, but we were here, and then the guy looked at us and he was like, and so we like. <laughs> <laughs> Those like people that come here all work for SpaceX or something. There's no other reason to go this way. Beyond that inspection station that we just passed, there's nothing but the beach, which is legitimately a place you could go. SpaceX and Boca Chica Village. Boca Chica Village has been basically bought over by SpaceX. The reason SpaceX chose this location is because Boca Chica is located near the equator. So, if SpaceX launches from here, the rockets will get an extra boost due to the Earth's rotation, reaching orbit with less fuel. SpaceX is currently testing Starship 1.8 miles away from the village, 
So, for the safety of the residents of Boca Chica, SpaceX bought out all of the land in the community. Oh, that is so cool! <laughs> oh my god, I feel like a kid at a candy store. Look at how big it is! <laughs> so you see that big tower? Yeah. That tower The will, scaffolding? Yeah, the scaffolding that will lift the Starship on top of the booster. And the Starship is the silver cylinder. You see the booster is behind it, and those will be stacked on top of each other. Oh, so those two little things is... One thing, one, ship. one rocket. Yep. The view we had while driving past was quite restricted, although it was intriguing to see what was happening on site at such close proximity. Zenus had a better idea in mind, and so we drove further down to get a better view. Sweet. I wonder if Zenus is crying behind his sunglasses. No. <laughs> I should be. Oh. <laughs> For everyone that's watching, you're welcome. It's really not like the most amazing tourist destination unless you're really into spacecrafts and SpaceX. I really care about rockets. <laughs> Thanks to Z, you got to see all of that. What's next? Drive for five hours. <laughs> so we just, we literally came to Boca Chica just to see a rocket and now we're gonna leave. For Austin. Where we had the chance to stop by Maria's Cafe. I can see why it's such a hot spot among the locals. The decor and ambiance immediately set me in the mood and I could not wait to see what they have to offer. Isn't the decor here such a vibe? The vintage loving auntie in me is screaming. That's Zenus's favorite thing in the whole wide world. Huevos rancheros. Can you say it? I can't trill my R's even after living in Mexico. Huevos rancheros. Huevos rancheros. Yes, I wish I could do that. Over medium eggs with ranchero salsa served with beans and potatoes. I can totally see why that's Z's favorite. This is Mexican French cheese. Here you got the salsa on top of the brisket that's super flavorful and ultra tender and then you have a tortilla on the inside and I think on the inside of this is a ton of cheese. That's Tex-Mex rice which I've discovered is kind of like chicken rice. A lot of the ingredients if you google it is pretty much the same. Refried beans which is uber flavorful. That's Zenus's taco. That is a proper breakfast taco right there. If you're wondering what's behind Z, it's actually the menu which they hold out for you to browse. It's chorizo and egg um, tacos. Can you guess how long it took me to down this taco? Not long at all. Gracias, Maria. Thank you so much. They know everyone. It's really like family. I love it. Bye! And hello, Austin. It was a pretty gloomy day, but I've got a ton of good vibes. Oh yeah. A lot of the places remind me of Teluk Ayer in Singapore. Some of it reminds me of like, you know, Portland a little bit, but more metropolitan, you know? Yeah, it's a little bit all newer construction as well. Yeah. So it seems a little bit more modern. It doesn't seem to have a, a lot of people. Actually, this is just like in the American city. All the people are in the cars. Not in San Francisco. San Francisco yeah, is busy. True. That night, we made our way to the Line Hotel to meet up with Zenas's friend Abel and his girlfriend Robin. Abel and Zenas met in Boston, where they lived together and partied hard. And of course, we had to have more Tex-Mex. I can't believe I never had much of these back in Singapore. After having tasted so many variations of tacos here, I want to create my very own. So this is the bridge with the bats. Yes. Yeah. The Austin Bridge is home to the largest urban bat colony in North America. So of course we had to take a walk on this tourist attraction and admire the view of the city lights at night. Romantic Hall. Today is our last day in Austin. You cannot leave Austin without having barbecue. So we're going to take Zia's friend's girlfriend, Robin's advice, and go to a place called Terry Black's. <laughs> what? 
No wonder people think you're like super serious. I'm showing people the car park. Look how freaking packed it is. Like full of cars. Wow. Food here is served cafeteria style. You tell them what you want and they'll scoop it for you. Reminds me of pointy rice stalls back in Singapore. I mean econ rice. But you point point, so pointy rice, get it? They even got a little station just for carving meats. This is some of our moist brisket, oh. a little bit more fat to it, a little more tender. Oh, kind of like good. Meat. That is great. Right. That's, That's good. good. Wait, wait, you've been to Singapore? I've been to Singapore, it's beautiful. I like those big buildings. <laughs> it's the biggest Louis Vuitton store I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, I love y'all's big portion. You got a pork rib? He gave us a pork rib. Oh, wow. He was so nice. Brisket. That is so good. It's super tender. Whenever I think barbecue, I think like slathered in barbecue sauce. But this actually isn't, which makes it super delicious. This is the beef rib. It's not a steak, right? Not the same thing, but it's, it's still beefy. But it just tastes so like tender and delicious. And it isn't overly salty. Wow, that way. Hey, come on, put that down, let's eat. Look at that, they got the smokehouse in the back. Wow. And this is the time they're getting the smoke ring and they're getting all the color. And as you can tell, this way smoke's going in, it's just like there's an air bowl that's going through there. The meats are sprayed with water. It's a process called liquid smoking, where the meat is cooked through smoke compounds in water. It smells great. It's that like campfire wood smell. Of course, all of these logs are chosen for a reason. Uh, and then they just go into the fire here, and that's the smoke and heat goes past the meat. It gets drawn through. So it's that airflow that actually cooks the meat. It's not like the direct heat underneath, right. if that makes sense. It just takes hours and hours to cook and smoke, but wow, worth it. Another thing that is so worth it is driving down to the original Whole Foods Market. While I was studying in LA, I loved Whole Foods, but I didn't know it originated in Austin, Texas. They pride themselves on only selling the highest quality of organic produce, with a wide selection of ready-to-eat foods like salads, pizzas, and carb options. Yum, yum, yum. Man, I need this in my life. Yeah, I totally understand, Z, because you'll never run out of ideas on what to eat here. So we just got the kale avocado salad and I really like that it shows the calories here so I can make a better option. Did you know they support local farmers by expanding and creating new markets for organic products? It also supports local producers via loan programs, which is amazing! This in turn makes it easier for consumers to get organic produce. Hey, check this out. Even the seafood here is ethically sourced and is sustainable for the environment. All meat sold at Whole Foods are from animals raised without hormones and antibiotics. They even have so many different artisanal breads to choose from. I want that dance! <laughs> so many, let's take a look. The plant-based options here are endless, that it slowly started to look a lot like a vegan heaven. So good, if you have an opportunity to try, get it. And just when you think you haven't seen enough variations of the same thing, just look at the plant protein aisle. My favorite vegetable chips. Yes! They even have better sugar than general sugar and... Sugar not sugar! After carting out, we thought we'd check out what the rest of this place had to offer. Whole Foods is the best. Even got juice left. And we're back on the road again. 
But this time, we noticed Texas had so many drilling rigs around. Texas is very much an oil state. That was a major industry for many, many years. Now that industry is kind of dying. We're transitioning the world to sustainable energy, which is also what Tesla's mission is. And you can now see that oil is becoming more and more expensive to mine and produce and refine. And kind of see like a dying industry. But I also see how much damage we've done to our planet. Like so many oil rigs out here, all of them are leaking. Can you smell that? that yeah. thing? It's been smelling like farts in our van. And I swear to God, it's not us. It is not me, okay? <laughs> Austin, oh Austin, you're terribly misunderstood. I was told to be careful about Texas, but I saw nothing but the friendliest smiles and some of the best food. I'll never forget my time here. And cheers to the next destination. We that was it out. so amazing. That's where sacrificial offerings were made. Oh my god, what if they lock us in? <laughs> <laughs> that is not running, excuse me. This is running but at number three speed. Can you run at like one? Oh, uh, ten? <laughs> <laughs>